Before we know it, you'll have the multinationals like Veolia and Siemens and the big multinational uh, companies from Germany and uh, America queuing up on the border of this country looking to buy up that resource, to buy up that resource, to privatise it and to sell it back to us at exorbitant, excruciatingly high prices. A resource which this country should be proud of having so much of because it never stopped bloody well raining. <laughs> and yet the irony is that they're going to start charging us for water. So very crucially, we do have to see the house tax, the septic tank charge and the water charges uh, linked together. And indeed Phil Hogan himself said when he was interviewed in RTE early on when he talked about this tax, that he predicts by, that by the end of 2014, every home in the country will be paying an average of between 1,000 and 1,300 euro between their home tax, their property tax, uh, septic tank charges and water. So where are you going to get it from? <coughs> uh, where the hell are we going to get it from? Well, we don't care back to the government's business. Exactly, exactly. Well, we and, do you know, in a way, what makes this campaign so exciting and so possible really and truly people, it makes it so possible, is that for the first time in five budgets of austerity, we can actually say no. When they came and took into and put their hands in their pockets for the employment levy, there was nothing we could do about it. It came out of our wages and out of our pensions and out of our dog money. When they came and put their hands in the pockets for the pension levy, likewise. The last time they came for the universal social charge and took it off every person who's dependent on social welfare, who has a job or who runs a farm, they took that money off us without us having a single say in it. This time we can actually say, no, go to hell, we're not paying for the <laughs> massive cuts on their health services, their education services, the job losses that they were, they were facing. And at one stage it was reported that they were carrying banners saying, we're not the Irish. In other words, we fight and they don't. Well, Jesus, they haven't seen how the Irish can fight yet. <laughs> They do actually advocate 
have, uh, you know, actually advocate advocating on the debt, and I agree with them. We should ignore that bloody debt. Next week. <laughs> and give people the courage and the strength 
and the solidarity to really, as Lady Macbeth said, screw your courage to the sticking place and we shall not fail. Thank you very much.
Tom Table have. They have the good to come here tonight and face this amount of people and put their um, uh, put their thing forward. And uh, you know, I think that I was at the last meeting that was that was held in I don't know what was it. Oh, that was the Wallace. And uh, since then, I played my part in getting people uh, and talking to people about what to do about this. And uh, you know, and I am telling, not telling them what to do, but I'm telling them what I have, I'm going to do, and that is that I'm not going to be paying any of those charges. Um, the other thing I wanted, to, just to, the question I wanted to ask was, uh, there's a lot of stuff coming out from government that people uh, that don't pay such and this and that and the other things going to happen to them, including they're going to stop their money out of their social welfare or out of their place of employment or whatever. Now. Uh, people are annoyed about things like that, and I'd just like if you could clarify that maybe that can't happen. Okay, we will take more questions in a minute. It's just if we take three or four questions and answer them, we'll end up again. Um, the woman over here who asked uh, about why we're not uniting, and well, we are, we are uniting. We, we do protest uh, as, as much as possible. And, and I said the city did protest, and I also said... That okay, first of all, for, first of all, uh, uh, I'm, I'm not in the door. Um, the, 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 the guards would stop us uh, at, at the uh, gates. Uh, as far as we got so far as to sit on the plinth last year, <laughs> and that was only for a few minutes. But um, I think Breed is going to expand a little bit on the uh, the whole idea of protest. Uh, of course, we wouldn't be uh, against that at all. It's just the um, uh, well, I'll let Breed speak on that. Uh, the idea also of a, a the the idea that the, the property of the property tax um, here in Ireland, though we have to have a property tax because it exists everywhere else in Europe. But the difference between other countries uh, in Europe and here is there's not such a high ownership uh, of property. So the people who own properties mainly in across Europe are, are, are wealthy people. They're not ordinary workers or people who are... Pardon? Absolutely. That's exactly it. And we're going to have more and more. Absolutely. You're dead right. We have nothing but a wave of stealth taxes coming at us now. Um, but we are, we are open to organizing protests. But as you said, uh, you know, it's up to all of us. We, uh, I think, it was Morris there said, it doesn't matter what our political beliefs are, uh, we're quite open about uh, where we stand on the household charges. I think everybody in the room here is opposed to it. Um, but uh, Morris hit on a very good question, point. It's about what you bring out of these meetings. It's not about what you bring out, uh, uh, what we say, it's what you think, what you, how you can convince your neighbours and friends like he's been doing and other people have been doing. And that, that's the only way we can build this campaign. And um, so, uh, Brie, do you take the protest? Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll try and address a couple of the questions. Um, I think you need to ask me what was about why, they don't, why the TDs don't sit in at the door. I think my own view of that... They're yellow. But, They're no, yellow. I, I actually, I don't Make think... Make it pink. pink. It's not yellow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my own view of the city at the Dáil is, like I said earlier on, I don't think it matters if all 166 TDs were opposed to this. Yes, what matters is what we really do. Important. It's what a very important matter. Okay, okay, okay. 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 It, but what my point is, what really matters, what really most defeated is us, not them. So you can elect people to represent you, <coughs> but when you have to move against draconian laws, like the people of Egypt and Tunisia have to do, you need the people. Not the, not the politicians, you need the people and the politicians, but yeah, yeah. most of all, you need the people. So that's what I think. Yeah. Sorry, the lady at the very back there, she's been trying for hours, yes. Sorry, 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 someone before you there. small groups, I think it's really, really important that we form like small little cells and fit them together like a honeycomb. And so if we get, say, a bunch of women around a kitchen table, women are in the home during the day, 
I open, I'm down in Kilran, so Kilran, Rosslare Harbour, Rosslare to Boat, Broadway, anyone down that area. My kitchen is open any day. Sit down together, plan what we're going to do, and link up with the other groups. I also think we need at least one person in every group of six to ten to say, and I'm saying it, I'm prepared to go to jail. I am beyond the saturation point.
then their uh, household tax, septic tanks charge is on a loser, okay? And that's what I think we need to get that message across very strongly. No, sorry, is this line here? Yeah. Line of information <laughs> in relation to that. I got a phone number in Dublin yesterday, uh, 01222400, and I was asked to ring it. I rang the number today, and uh, I said, I'm inquiring about this household charge. And the lady said, oh, um, uh, can you uh, download the form to the internet? I said, I don't do internet, and pass that. And they said, well, you can go to your county council office, and you will get the form there. <coughs> and I said, oh, is that the big building up by the county hospital that cost the billions? Is that where you get it? Uh, and at that stage, she passed me over to obviously a senior person, and uh, I said, uh, do you have to register? Oh yes, you have to register, it's illegal to not register. And I said, well, uh, what happens if you don't register? Oh, you'll be fine if you don't register. Now, it's all a scare tactic. I went on, and this is the point that I'd like to make to the meeting. Uh, I, I said to the girl, well, what happens, well, you're fine to uh, up to two and a half thousand. And I said, if you don't pay it, it's illegal not to pay it. So are you telling me I'll go to jail? How much will it cost them a year to keep me in jail? It must be more than a hundred quid. <laughs> and uh, she's, I, I ended up anyway, I said, darling, I hope you're being well paid. There's nothing personal about this. But I said, in 1916, those people put down as being criminals. Some of them were shot. More of them become uh, very important people, like our president, Mr. De Valera. I said, do we have to go that far again? <laughs> And we left it at that. Now, what I'm saying, and the message from Big Wallace, disappointed that he wasn't here tonight, but I'll accept it. I'll see him to give him the message on Monday. Big Wallace got a mandate from the people of Wexford that anybody could be proud of. We need a leader. Big Wallace is the man. And we've got to follow him.